Hi, this is Joe at Joe's Test Studio. Hello again. I'm Joe from Cheap Joe's Art Stuff, and I'd like to show you about our new painting knives. They're really not new. We put, in, put my name on them and call them new, but they're the same old painting knives that we're all seen for a long time. So if you have one, you don't need to order the one I've got. I'm not trying to sell you. I just want to show you what a neat trick it is to do with watercolor. And perhaps you've seen it. You mix up your color. I'll mix up this Lucky Penny, which I just love. Really pretty there, isn't it? Very rich, very strong. About like that right there. About the consistency of uh, thin pancake batter, I guess would be a good way to describe it. And then I take the painting knife. This is a Joe Miller number 39 and it has a long point on it and you simply pick up the color with both sides. I'm going to move my palette now so I can show you this. And holding it like this, you simply come down here and you start it. Come on, good, good. there we go. And I give it these little jerky motions, motions like that, motions. And the first thing you know, you've got a little limbs, little tree coming out with little limbs. And it makes really fine limbs out there. People wonder, you can't, you can't get a rigger that will make it that fine. And it gives you little places on a tree that are there, maybe like that. I can bring this on down like that and make that up through there. So it gives me a lot of character here with this tree that I really like. And then I have another painting knife, and this is the Joe Miller series, 81. And it's a long rectangle, and it actually is an interesting knife. You fill it, do it the same way. Just pick up all the color, that real moist color on there, and simply come in here and lay it flat. And if it doesn't do that way, it'll do like this one, and start rubbing it across. Wow, look at that. Isn't that fun? It's really a neat way to do. Get the grass out through there like that. Maybe pull a little bit down. It'll even pull a limb out through there like that, off just the same as the other one did. You can change colors, pick up some yellow color now and some greens and blues and stuff. But it's a fun thing to do with painting knives and you can get some fine detail. And it's really loose, so people are gonna wonder how in the world you did those little, see doesn't that look just like a little place out in the woods? Perhaps I'd like a rock in there somewhere. So I could put it in there like that, and then I could come back here and scrape it with a razor blade. And I could have a rock in there. There's two or three rocks in there. So, there's your painting knives, and use a little razor blade to scrape with, or a sharp edge uh, uh, credit card or whatever you have to, to rub with. But fun thing to do. Thanks for your business.